there. I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com and this is my Smart American Accent Training. In this video, we'll look at breaking down and pronouncing easily and correctly the word deteriorate. So this word has a number of different syllables and multiple R sounds, which can make it challenging. And also knowing how, uh, which vowel sounds you should say in this word, where the stress pattern is, can also be challenging. So let's break that down. The main stress in deteriorate is on the tear syllable. And uh, even though we have the letters ER here, we have the ear diphthong. You can think about it like the word ear or the word tear. Uh, we do have a word tear like this, but that also is the word tear, so it's a little confusing. <laughs> uh, we also have a word tear, like third, fourth tier layer, spelled like that. But I've written it here with two E's, just so that you know it has that tense E ear sound. Other words like fear, uh, mere, here, etc. We could even think of it as ere, -E, like in here. Um, so just knowing that the basic sound of that stress syllable is ear, you can build from that. Ear, tear, deteriorate, deteriorate. Uh, then our first letters, de, say the d or the d sound. I wrote it here with the uh, uh sound like a vowel schwa. Basically, you want to have a reduced vowel there. Be very short, not a lot of length on it. Again, starting with tear and then adding that first syllable can help. Deteriorate, deteriorate. You notice how the d almost has no vowel at all. So it doesn't matter too much if I'm doing i or uh, just be very short. Then we have ear, earate, another kind of ear but in two syllables. So I wrote that here as e rate. Um, we do glide in and out of these R sounds, deteriorate. So you do have a little bit of a er there, an ear there, a r, a re there, and a rate there. Just practice going in and out of your R, teary, e, e, uh, <laughs> reiterate, eerate, um, just so that you can get comfortable putting those R's in. It's not easy, and you may find that breaking it down and putting the R's in different syllables and then putting that back together works best for you. If you if that's the case, then just try it syllable by syllable, slow slowly, and then speed it back up. That would sound like deteriorate. So I still kind of linked together a little bit on those R's. Deteriorate. Uh, then we finally have a the word rate here at the end. It does have a clear vowel. It's not stressed, but it does may have some secondary stress because it still has that clear diphthong A. You can also build from the back. Just taking this word with a, a different approach may help you. Trying rate, arate, earate, rearate, teriorate, deteriorate. Um, so approach it, figure out where it's breaking down for you, take it nice and slow, and then speed it up. Once you have deteriorate by itself, do try practicing it in some short phrases, simply because you may find that uh, even though you master the word by itself, when you go to use it in everyday speech, it still gives you some challenging, some challenges. So, um, for example, you might say, um, we've really seen society deteriorate in the last few years. Um, I, I hope that the material doesn't deteriorate over time. So from those examples, you might be able to tell that de de deteriorate means break down, um, become decrepit, become uh, no longer functional, um, etc. Thank you for this request. It is a challenging word, and I hope that this video helps you master this word. You can also check out our Sounds of English course to look at specific sounds in this word and all of the sounds of English. That's a great way to improve your overall pronunciation and build a strong foundation so that you can pronounce any word you want in American English. It's our Sounds of English course on speechmodification.com. You can check out our other courses while you're there. All of our online courses are either free or available for under $2. So they're a really good resource for you, no matter what your budget is, um, a way to get a little bit more help and um, similar to what you can get here in these Word of the Day classes. It does help support the channel and I appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing and especially thank you to our channel members, 
Channel members, feel free to leave your requests at any time and we'll cover them for you this coming Sunday. Uh, I also will be here live on Saturday for everyone. You can come, leave your questions in the chat and I'll cover them for you in that live class. I'll be back again tomorrow with another word of the day. Thanks everyone. I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com. Remember, if you want to sound like a native speaker, you can do it. Speechmodification.com. Bye everyone. Hope to see you again soon.